five settings and features on the DJI RC that you just might not know about. Let's do this. So hello and welcome once again to the channel on this very fine weekend here in the UK. So the DJI RC. Um, some of you might not know these settings and uh, I've had one or two subscribers reach out to me and ask me how we do this, how we do that. Uh, and one of the things is the, the Wi-Fi hotspots. I'm going to come into that a little bit later on in the video. So if you don't know how to do that, stick around to the end. If you're new around here and you like the content on the Mini 3 Air 2S Mini 2, then why don't you consider subscribing and dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it. I'm sure you know the score by now. Okay, let's get straight in and have a look at these settings. So the first feature we're going to look at is the auto focus feature on this button just here, the camera button. Very similar to DSLR cameras. If you half press the button, it will auto focus for you, but it will only auto focus to the center of the screen. If you want to auto focus elsewhere, then you have to actually touch on the screen where you want the focus point to be. Whilst we're on the subject of autofocus, what we can do is go in and turn on peak level or peak leveling, switch it to high. Then when you're in manual mode, you can see exactly where the focus is. The next feature is your status bar. One swipe down from the top and you can see icons such as time, battery level, that kind of thing. You can't actually click on them, but they're there as a guide. Double swipe from the top will bring your quick menus. Here you can choose your settings, and there's various settings that you can look at, which I'm going to go through in a minute. Here you can view your storage. If you click on Android, then click on photos and videos and images. And then you can look here at your movies, screenshots or screen recordings. This is why you have a need for your SD card in the controller. Swiping up will take you back to the main screen. Double swipe from the top, take you back to your quick settings again. Tapping on the mute function just here, that will take away any of the annoying uh, notifications that you get whilst you're flying. But it will still warn you for critical battery levels. As you can see here, you can also use the volume control to lower the levels. Inserting a USB microphone, as you can see just here, this will enable you to add audio to your screen recordings. I did do a video on this, which I'll link up just here. A single swipe down will reveal that once you've got the USB microphone plugged in, you can see just here, it will show you in the status bar. So setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot on your iPhone or your Android, you go into settings and you can see just here, personal hotspot. You need to click on there and you click and you set yourself a password. Once you've done that, you click done and that's all there is to it. And then you go back into the RC and connect to that particular hotspot. So back in the RC, if we double swipe, and hold on to the Wi-Fi icon. It will bring up a list of connected devices. If you're at home, as you can see on mine just here, mine's already connected. When you're out in the field, if you want to connect to your iPhone or Android hotspot, what you need to do is look in your saved folder, which is just down here, saved networks. In there, you'll find iPhone. I stored mine in the saved folder. And then we click on connect. Make sure that your iPhone or your Android phone is open. And then you can see it's connected. And that will then enable you to go back to the main screen, click on the maps, and you'll find that the maps will load whilst you're out in the field. And it's as simple as that. And finally, the RC has two USBs. One is the host, which you can plug in your USB microphones, as I just showed you. 
Also this one is for charging, so if you have a power bank, you can charge from a power bank. It's not very quick, but it does help. And you can use the RC whilst it's being charged. But what you can also do, if we remove this one, is we can plug in a USB-C to this port just here. And what that does, it will enable you to plug in an iPhone and that will charge your phone when it's turned on. As you can see just there, that's now charging. So there we go, just a short video just to show you how these settings are applied and how you can find them, how you can work your way around the menus and of course the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, some people just don't know how to do it, so well, hope you've got some use out of it anyway. If you found the video useful and informative, then give us a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.